Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I also have a Virgo-only channel and a Leo-only channel. Those links are below. Um, I did about a two-and-a-half-hour tutorial on Tarot. It's, you know, quick, um, so the link for that is also also below if you're interested uh, please be sure to like share comment subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced I do a monthly giveaway on the channel I give away tarot cards oracle cards and crystals so just hashtag what you would like to win um, in the description box below what do I have here? Okay. Um, what else did I want to say? Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I do not take personal readings. Okay. So if any phone numbers that you see below, it's not me. If anyone should contact you on social media, it is also not me. Okay. All right. So let's get pop in here. I was called to use this deck today. Haven't used it before. So let's see what it has to say. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. So we've got the Empress and the Knight of Wands that wanted to come out. I'm just looking at the pictures here, Cancer, because I've never used this before. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Wands. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Magician, and we have the King of Swords. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Wands. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Three of Cups. And we've got the star card. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Hanged Man, and we've got the Eight of Wands. Okay, under the deck, the overall energy is the Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, okay? All right, so Cancer, the overall energy of the reading, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Six, excuse me, and the Eight of Swords. Um, okay, now Cancer, I want you to keep in mind that when listening to these readings, this could be you. And even though you say you may be done with an ex, you have to ask yourself if this person is still stopping your life in some way, shape, or form, whether it's due to anger or whatever else, because this is an energy of somebody that doesn't want to let the past go. This could be childhood trauma. It could be one specific ex, whatever the case may be with that eight of swords energy. This is somebody that cannot stop thinking or cannot unbind themselves from something or someone from the past. They're not letting it go. Okay, they're not letting it go. Signs we could be dealing with Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. It could be any sign, but that's what I see on the board right now. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and get into the past position of this reading, which is extremely self-explanatory, Cancer. We have an Empress and a Ten of Pentacles, and then we've got a Knight of Wands and a Queen of Wands. So Cancer, what this person wants, it's, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Madonna Whore Complex, okay? So this is an energy of somebody that wants the wife or the husband at home, with the stable, nice house, picket fence, and all that good stuff. And then they want to go play with someone else for their sexual needs. Okay? So what we have here is somebody that, you know, this is the lifestyle in the past position that they intended to lead. Okay? That they intended to lead. Okay, now we're going to clarify that in just a second. Now, coming into the present moment, 
coming into the present moment. With the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups, this is somebody that's looking out on the horizon. This is someone that had expectations. And with the Star card and the Three of Cups, this is someone whose wish fulfillment was to have that type of connection with somebody. But with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, that's just not going to work. It's not going to work. This is someone that's coming to the realization that whatever dream they had of living that type of lifestyle, okay, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. OK, now this person could have, you know, two different people in their life. One, they may have children with somebody or one person may be financially stable and they can go ahead and have a long term financially fulfilling future. OK, this person may be older and, you know, the way this person saw it is, oh, great. Uh, you know, I could leave a lot, lead a long term fulfilling life. This is hubby wifey material. My life would be prosperous with this person. And then I'll choose, just use this one over here for my sexual needs. OK, not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work because either this queen of wands is saying, listen, I don't want to be a third party. Or it's not going to work because the empress is saying, no, I'm an empress. I don't live like that. That's not the way this is going to work. Okay. Either way with that three of pentacles in the reverse, this is somebody coming to the realization that this little dream that they had not going to happen. Okay. It's, it's not going to happen cancer. Okay. Now, we're going to clarify that in just a second. Now, coming into the near future here, Cancer, we've got the King of Swords, the Magician, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Wands. So, Cancer, I don't feel like there's communication between you and this person right now. And would you like to know why? Because they're thinking. They're thinking on what to say. I don't know if this person is still trying to get what they want and they're thinking about what to say to you to manipulate this to get what they want because that king of swords is a man with a plan right and this is somebody that is waiting and stagnant to figure out how to talk to you to figure out what to say to figure out how to get what they want. So I feel like this Queen of Wands energy could be an X, okay? Now, Cancer, the reason why I said what I said at the beginning of the reading is because this could be something that you went through in the past and you haven't healed from, okay? So this could be a warning sign for, for, you know, for you to say you need to heal from this in order to move forward, or some of you could be living in this energy right now. It could be happening in the future, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about this Empress energy in the past position. Two of Swords. Yep, you're not talking to this person. Cancer, I feel like in this reading that it is very possible that you are the Empress energy. You're not having it and you don't even care. Tell me about this 10 of pentacles with the page of pentacles. You know why cancer? Cause you're in an energy of saying, you know what? I am the table here. What the hell do you bring to the table? Not only do I have to deal with you and all the, you know, and not only do I have to do everything, but on top of it, you expect me to get cheated on too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so this is somebody that there could be a, an age difference between you and this person, possibly cancer, whether it is maturity wise or an actual age difference. Okay. Tell me about this page of pentacles and this 10 of pentacles and the nine of swords. Yeah, cancer, you know, this person's stressing you out. They're stressing you out because you love this person with the two of swords. You do. But with that 10 of swords, you had to end it. With that Ten of Swords, you had to end it. This could have been a soul tie connection with that Ten of Pentacles and that Two of Cups. No matter how much you love this person, you will respect yourself enough to let it go because you do not deserve to live that way. You don't deserve to live that way. Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy. Oh, excuse me. And the Six of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Cancer, I feel like you're going to, in the, in the recent past, you told this person, listen, I'm not going to deal with this toxicity. And not only am I not going to deal with this toxicity, but I'm leaving and you can, they can have you. You literally told this person, I think that is in your best interest to move towards the queen of wands. 
You did not sit here and tell this person, oh, you need to be loyal to me. You need to be faithful to me. And you know why? Because an empress doesn't chase. An empress does not chase anything. You gracefully sat there and said, I'm leaving this behind because you need to go towards that third party. It's an energy of, you know, I've heard a saying one time that said, listen, if you need to choose between me and someone else, choose them. Because if you really loved me, there wouldn't be a second choice. And Cancer, you are you have become wise enough to know that. Okay. Now tell me about this three of pentacles in the reverse. We have the death card. Tell me about this three of wands. And the full card in the reverse. Yep. So Cancer, you know, this person's realizing it's not going to work. Whatever they had planned, it's not going to work. Okay. It's just not going to work. I feel like this person is realizing that there's been a change of plans. And with the full card in the reverse, this uh, concept that they had is, is just not going to happen. There will be no fuckery in this connection. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, another thing I'm getting here, Cancer, is that by you sending this person off to the third party, this life, this person's life is going to change dramatically, okay? Because I feel like there's an ending between you and this person. Three of Pentacles, we're going to go from a relationship of building a solid and stable future with somebody to the three of pentacles in the reverse. You're shipping this person off to a connection that's just lust based. There's no stability there. There's no solid foundation. There's no building towards success. There's no future in that connection. And that's where you are taking this person and sending them FedEx overnight shipment to this queen of wands energy. Okay, and with the three of wands here and the full card and the reverse, this is somebody saying, this is, I don't want this new beginning. This isn't what I wanted. There's no stability here. There's no solid foundation here. Tell me about the three of cups here for cancer. We've got the six of wands. So you see, this is a third party that they only use to feed their ego. This is a third party that they only used for attention and to feed that ego. Tell me about that three of cups and that six of wands and the queen of swords. Yeah, you cut them off. You cut them off and you said, listen, you need to go. You need to go and be with that person. Now, the six of wands and the three of cups could also be this person coming back around, um, you know, wanting to reconcile with you. And with that queen of swords, I feel like your answer is no. The Wheel of Fortune and the Star card, okay? And look, we got the Star card again under here. You know, that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, that Queen of Wands. You got what you wanted. You took the risk. You know, the full card in the reverse is an indication of you shouldn't take that risk. You shouldn't take that leap of faith. You risked your connection with me for that female or that male. And if that person is that important to you, that's where you need to be. And now, Cancer, the tables are turning on this person. Because God is big. God is big. Okay, God is big. The divine is big. If you make your bed, you got to lie in it. And that's the way you're seeing things at this point in time, okay? Okay. Okay, now coming into the future position, King of Swords for Cancer and the Ace of Pentacles. In the reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, we've got the Magician and the Five of Swords in the reverse. Cancer, this person is trying to think on how to get you back. They sabotage the connection, but now they want to come back. You're not taking this person's pentacle. You're not taking this offer. And not only that, with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, whatever new situation they got themselves into, there's no stability there. There's no love. There's no loyalty. There's nothing. And now this person is, is trying to strategize on how to come back around. On how to come back around. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. 
and the unknown card in the reverse, but they're not going to come back around cancer until they know what to say. Because how do you talk yourself out of this situation? How do you talk yourself out of the fact that you wanted to have your cake and eat it too? How can you talk your way back into somebody's heart after doing this? How can you talk your way back into getting someone to trust you again after doing this? So Cancer, this person is going to stay silent until they know what, this, what to say. The unknown card in the reverse with the eight of wands. They need to be prepared for any argument that you may have. They need to be prepared for anything that you say. So this person is currently in an energy where they're, they want to come forward. They know you're not going to accept their pent you know, their, their offer. So they need to be ready. This is like, I'm, I'm getting like a lawyer putting together a case. They're putting together their case cancer. Tell me about the hanged man, please. And the hierophant in the reverse. In the meantime, cancer, this person is suffering. They are suffering without you because their life is going nowhere. Do you see what I'm saying? Their life is going nowhere. They know that they're not commitment material. They know that they're not traditional or they didn't act in a way that was traditional. And now they're suffering without you trying to figure out how to make this work. Okay, Queen of Cups and the Five of Wands. This person put you in competition with other people and you said, I don't compete. I don't compete because I don't have to compete. These people are not in my league. They are not competition to me. As you can see, Cancer, you're you're sitting there and you're thrown high above looking down at these people. Like you're just in this energy of, and I don't feel like it's egotistical. I feel like you've earned those stripes to say that, Cancer. You know, you're sitting here in your Empress energy and you're kind of looking down on all these people fighting over one man or one woman and you're just in an energy of, I don't compete. I, I just don't. These people are not competition to me. There's nothing. I've already won before the competition started. I'm not going to compete with, you know what I'm saying? A diamond can't compete with a rock. There's no competition. That, that doesn't even have to be said. Diamonds don't compete with, with you know, rocks. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about the six of cups. And the three of pentacles, five of pentacles and the four of pentacles, the eight of swords and the ace of wands. Cancer, this is an ex that wants to come in and try to work things out. Four of pentacles and the five of pentacles, they don't want to let you go because their life is nothing without you. Their life is nothing without you. And let me tell you, Cancer, with that eight of swords and that ace of wands, they are so scared that you're sleeping with someone else or that you're going to move on to somebody new. I'm telling you right now, they are so scared. Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Um, they know that they had a Queen of Pentacles, an Empress, a Queen of Cups, somebody kind, caring, nurturing, empathetic, um, somebody here that was responsible, loving, loyal, someone that knew to how to maintain a household, true husband-wife material. Okay, true husband wife material. And I feel like with the four of swords, the seven of wands and the world card and the sun card here, you found out about it and you just, you're just done with it. You know, you're laying in bed. You just don't want to answer the phone. You don't want to talk to them. You know, you're just, you're just done with it. You're ready for a change in your life. You, you don't want to deal with being treated that way anymore. This is somebody that lied to you, stole from you, took advantage of you. They thought that they could get away with anything with this third party connection here. They thought they could get away with anything. Okay, well, let's take it into the extended cancer and let's see, you know, how this person truly feels about you. Are they staying with you just for, you know, whatever you can provide or, you know, do they actually love you? What will happen if you reconcile with this person and give them another chance? And what will happen if you stay single? Because cancer, I feel like you're ready to really start a new life for yourself. You're ready to truly, you know, move on from this. So what will happen if you do that? What will happen if you, you know, close the door on this? person okay so the link to the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i will see you guys there i love you bye my god my loves my guys listen to me my loves